Now to the latest heated political debate on I'm a Celebrity. And Nigel Farage has come into fire yet again over his views. Let's take a look at when Nigel and fellow campmate Fred Sirex clashed on last night's show. What's the three benefits of Brexit? Self-government. Which we already had. We did not have. If, okay. Fred, there's no point. If you believe that, if you believe that, you don't understand what the European Union is. So what was yeah. the second benefit? Well, hopefully take back our territorial waters. But when I'm talking about benefits, I'm talking about something tangible. All right, the nuclear submarine deal with Australia could not have been done as an European Union member because France already had a contract. Simple as. But we could have done it with France. <laughs> don't make me laugh. In fact, the French were really pissed off about that. Of course they were, good. A lot of people in life are persuadable. Fred Sirax is not one of them. But the point about it is, we can make a mess of it ourselves if we choose to. And that is... And, that and is, that's what we are doing. And I've always argued that. I've always argued that. Why do they do it? You know, I've seen Nigel do it in real life, dancing rings around clowns like Fred. I'm not hope in hell of ever winning a debate about Brexit with Nigel Farage, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. When it comes to the B word, Fred got battered. Well, join me now to discuss this is showbiz reporter Steph Tatchy. Steph, it wouldn't be the show without an argument about Brexit, but why do they keep going back for more? They can't land a glove on Farage. Well, Martin, as I told you last week, Nigel is going to be the Brexit punch bag when it comes to I'm a celebrity. You know, celebrities such as Fred Sirix, who is a keen Remainer, he's looking for someone to blame about Brexit, and clearly it's going to be Nigel. Rarely should politics and reality shows ever mix, but that is what happens when you have politicians on shows such as I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. You're going to get a lot of the lovies, Martin, as I like to describe them who are angry about Brexit, who are angry about immigration, as we saw last week with Nella Rose. So they are going to be always putting forward their disbelief and shock about what's happening towards someone like Nigel. But the thing is, they keep on losing. Nigel has the facts here. You know, yesterday, Fred wanted to say, you know, the NHS was due to get £350 million a week, which then Nigel came back and said, actually, spending is up is actually £500 million a week. So this is all working in in Nigel's favour because he is an intelligent man, especially when it comes to Brexit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Fred just turning into that Remainer ball that we've all been cornered by in, in, in a pub. But he just simply needs to understand that you're dealing with a force of nature. If you go after Nigel about the B word, you're going to get battered. But we've seen the first casualty in the jungle, Grace Dent, the food critic. She's chickened yeah. out. Yeah, she was looking very unwell, Martin, over the past two episodes. You know, she didn't look herself. She's been put up for the Bush Tucker trials. On the touchdown trial of terror, they had to get a medic who had to come to the camp and syringe her ear full of critters that had managed to get in there. So, you know, a lot of people for our entertainment were looking at these celebrities being put through their challenges, but it's almost like squid game. And, you know, their, their health can be affected by some of these challenges. And I think she's just had enough of it you know once they do more than the three days in the camp they are still going to get that get that paycheck so i wouldn't be surprised if there's other celebrities who've had enough and want to walk out we see it each year there is always someone who's had enough after a week it is quite challenging and they still get that paycheck you know i don't understand how you can go all the way to the jungle and then say oh the food isn't very good oh i'm not getting a very good night's sleep oh i miss my family like, what part of that didn't you see Come in. You know, but that's the thing, Martin. They sign for this. They get they get paid after doing the first three days. So after the first three days, they know that they get paid regardless to show up, and that's all they've had to endure. But I think the problem is with someone like Grace Dent. She's got a very specified diet. She's a food critic, so she's used to having the creme de la creme of food. And I don't think she was expecting the public to sign her up for so many Bush Tucker trials. So she's a paid woman regardless. So if she wants to leave now, she's still going to get paid.